All right, it's time to paint a dragon. Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, we're gonna paint this dragon. This dragon is from the second wave of um, dragons that I bought from a dollar store. The first wave, is, the video for the first wave is up here. I painted the other initial two dragons. Uh, one is here and one is here. And this is the third one. I've got one more to go. So let's, let's have a look at this one. Again, this is from a dollar store. It's by this company called, again, Joy It, Joy It. You know, I keep calling them out because at some point, I'm hoping they'll find out who they are. And it's, according to, according to the manufacturer, it's from their Dragon Devil Dom Content series. So yeah, let's have a look at that. Yeah. Um, let's not waste any time. Let's, let's go in. Let's paint this thing. Right, so let's have a look at the, the dragon. As you can see, it's... Um, well, you know what's in the case? You know what? Let's break it up. Let's, let's release it. Release. Let's see what we've got here. All right. So this is the dragon. Oh, what? Oh, it looks like a dragon. I'm not sure what the wings it looks. Um, it looks like a. I've seen this kind of wings before. Maybe it's like a dinosaur wing. I'm not so sure. It looks. Seems like a fin. I mean, it's it's star-like. Actually, you know what? This this one's not painted that badly. Actually, I could actually get away with like not painting this at all. <laughs> it looks it looks alright. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, whoever, whichever person was painting this, you know, did a reasonable job. There's a bit of shade and tone here. But you know, this this video is not about us appreciating. You know the uh, extremely uh, simple artistic uh, <laughs> contribution to this model. I want to say, okay. So let's 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 decide what we're going to do with this. Um, okay, first let me let me, let me see. It's got um, it doesn't have it doesn't have got claws. Um, let to decide on what color. I think I haven't used green to be honest. To, to paint a figure so maybe maybe this could be my first green dragon or this could be uh, a dragonling or you know a, a smaller dragon what, what do you call smaller dragon again yeah so what I think I will do is I'm going to play with uh, with size here um, I'm going to paint this uh, I think green. I think let's let's do green. I haven't done it. I haven't done a green, green dragon yet. So let's go with green, and um, maybe highlight it to yellow, maybe, and maybe um, green wash to get all, all the details out, and maybe you know find a nice big leaf terrain. So you know instead of making this look like an extremely huge figure, I could make this look like an extremely small figure. That, that's 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 something to try so yeah so yeah so let's call this let's call this the, the green dragon or the green dragon dragonling yeah let's call it that but let's have let's have it very quickly it's um it doesn't look too menacing i, I suppose it, i suppose it could be yeah so there you have it right so let's have a look at this we actually give it a spray it's just black spray and a little bit of green spray and then some directional white spray to know where all the, uh, the spaces I want to go stay lighter with. This is directional, so it, sh it should be coming down from the you know, lights are coming from here. So it's like from this side, from this side. Okay, so this is this is how it's initially sprayed. Now it's all about getting all of these out with um, with. Uh, Greens and inks. Look at all of that. There's so much potential here. So I think it's going to be a lot of um, dry brushing, a lot of washing. So I think next time you see this, the uh, colors we put on, I'm not going to show you step by step, simply because that's what it's going to be. It's going it's going to be just me putting color on, uh, theme coats because you know I've got I've got this I've got this 
lighting area here so you can actually see the different uh, parts I'm, going to, I'm looking forward to this because this one should come out quite nicely um, the uh, white spray actually picked it up um, quite nicely um, the, the, the chest though I'm tempted to go with a yellow you know uh, yellow breasted perhaps chest uh, and maybe um, yellowy tips uh, of, of these so did they look you know like, like leaves also a green leaf dragon I, I don't know this this dragon <laughs> uh, will change what it is as I paint it but so this is the initial again very, very quick the spraying took 20 minutes or less the drying time took even more than that to be honest but it's ready it's ready for some paint definitely ready for some all right let's get going all right so let's have a look at this as you can see i've done the uh inner color there's a nice like fresh thing happening towards the end of the wing uh there's a lot of nice chances to play with uh the different greens that i have uh to give it a nice like bright look on the uh, inner wing then on the outer wing i went with something darker as you can see uh much much more darker tone but maybe i should add on a little bit more to um, how this looks because i want i want that, that huge contrast between the uh the inner wing and the outer wing so maybe a little bit more i like how the uh the spine turned out and um you know like do a little bit more with the chest <laughs> i think i think i'm not sure I, I think this is where the eye is so yeah i probably do that but as it as it as it stands it looks doesn't look that bad maybe a little bit more work on the wings um the inner wing looks already nice in fact the, the uh this part looks already already pretty good on its own yeah all right all right so there you have it um the green dragon or the leaf dragon as you can see, because I've played with proportions here, it looks as if it's much, much smaller, which is, well, it's generally the idea. We're trying to go for a dragonling looking uh, figure, which is smaller than your usual. I like how the greens turned out. The uh, play with uh, the inner uh, wing and the inner breast compared to the outer, darker uh, look or colors. I like how it turned out. It turned out quite, quite well. This actually took a little bit longer than I thought it would. It was it's just simply dry brushing and uh, washing. However, I used a whole lot of different kinds of washes. Sorry, different kinds of colors. And only one wash, the green uh, green tone. But the color is everything from uh, turquoise, hot turquoise, all the way to the uh, you know, green screen, uh, green, green skin uh, paints. I used them all. Uh, to get the different tones. Um, I also made sure that the, uh, the parts of the video that were more highlighted came out um, proper. And this is where my uh, zenithal spray was really, really helpful because it at least gave me a guide on what to concentrate on. Because sometimes when I'm painting, I tend to forget which which side the light's coming from. And I, but this was this is great. Uh, the uh, the plants, as you can see, is uh, from. An aquarium set had to work my way into putting the uh, the aquarium pieces on. The aquarium pieces, well, sometimes they they come out really great. Uh, sometimes they don't. And in this in this in this sense, I think I think it did. The uh, all the plants were given a slight wash with a green tone, and at least for the bigger plant at the back, I gave it a, a dark wash as well. Overall. Um, I want to say that this figure turned out quite well. I like how it looks. I mean, I, I, it's been a while since I painted a, a green dragon and I've never painted a, a green dragon for this channel. So it's kind of great that for me, you know, for, for me to like at least do this one. Um, hopefully when I round up all four of the different dragons that I painted, you know, they will all have a different look and different vibe and different feel. Uh, but again, I'm very happy with this one. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'll inspire you to perhaps uh, go in and, you know, redo a figure that you've already painted. Uh, oh, but just very quickly, the, the base 
was uh, was uh, quite a quite a hassle to do because what I had to do was I had to put some PVA glue and some stones in order to give it that, that nice texture look. But uh, the base actually took a lot more work than I thought it would. But I like how the base turned out. The whole figure composes quite well. So yeah, I, I'm pretty happy about it. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the third dragon. Um, one more to go. And I actually, what I liked how this one turned out. The initial idea was to just uh, keep it a particular color. Um, and I wanted to learn, not learn, I wanted to use washes, not speed paint, but just washes, the strength of washes. I wanted to uh, see how much how much the the wash would, would affect the colors I was going to use. And I, again, I liked how it turned out. Um, hopefully, hopefully uh, the last dragon, which actually looks a bit like a like a you know one of those creatures that has different parts from different different creatures what do you call that that's a word for it yeah that will be the, the fourth one so keep keep uh keep with the channel at some point maybe in a couple of weeks we'll probably paint that and then we're done with the uh, the whole uh wave two of the dragon series thanks for thanks for watching i hope you liked the video again like and subscribe and don't forget to enjoy painting those figures